Hi Internets, I've been getting a lot of questions about signature scanning such as what is a signature, how do I find or make one, and where would signature scanning be useful. People seem to think that this is a hard thing to do so I want to try to simplify it. Basically code such as C++ is compiled, it is then turned into bytecode that the computer can run. When memory hacking we find bytes we want to modify, but if the application is recompiled or uses dynamic memory, the address is not guaranteed to be the same each time the app runs. A signature is a sequence of bytes and wildcards defined in memory. I have a game here that has a version string in the bottom left. You might be able to see it. It says version 9.02. I wanted to get that version as well as modify it to include my own text. So I used Cheat Engine and searched for ver uh, ver 9.02. which then found me this address here. After I found the version string address, I found more access to code, which can be done two ways. Scan for the address in hex, and go to the address minus one in the memory view disassembler, or right click the entry and find what access is it. Once you've found the location, you can just scroll up a little bit to see the rest of the code. And you want to select parts like this. You look at the bytes on the left. Any references to other memory addresses will change on recompile, such as the ones seen in the push or move or call opcodes. Generally if the value is in the code sections of the executable it will be suspect to change. Simply make those bytes wildcard with the question question character when writing them down. You can search the signature and cheat engine as an array of bytes with hex turned on. The address you've found is at the start of your signature, so you usually have to add an offset to get to the location you want, and if you want to read something in a pointer you have to decast it and all sorts. I made my own signature scanner which uh, allows you to just put in X's for the address that you want to pull out. So the signature that we might make would look something like this. So you've got the X's at the end there, uh, there's four repeating of just two of them at a time and that allows us to pull out that address. It's really simple to use, you just go sig search and then what you've got here is you're casting it to a character um, string pointer and then you can just use it like any other normal value that you've used in C++. Something else that's quite interesting is a plugin for IDA Pro which allows you to generate signatures and you can just select the code as I did in the Cheat Engine and go plugins, make sig, create a textile pattern, bam, you've got it there. And what you actually want to do is something like this. So you want to get rid of the spaces and change these to X's. And I think you have to uppercase it. Yeah, why not? And there we go. Easy way to do signature scanning. And when you compile and run this code, it'll be able to find that address. It will log out the game version and where it is at, and then modify the game version to add my own string. 